So there's a lot of beauty designed into the facility, but it'll be a very functional facility too. After nearly five years of planning and construction, the brand new Armstrong International Airport nears completion, just a runway away from the present airport terminal in operation since 1959. When the new terminal goes online, it will be the difference night and day. What you'll fly into now will be modern, efficient, and, and you'll see us as being more proactive. Take a look inside. As the work nears completion, not a hard corner in the place, but gentle sweeping curves reminiscent of the Mississippi River, open with a lot of light. 972,000 square feet, 35 gates, three concourses. The architecture woven around efficiency and security. A couple of examples, the conveyor belt that handles baggage behind the ticket counter services all three concourses. Same is true with the TSA checkpoint, nearly 100 yards wide with 17 available lanes. TSA will open whatever the need is, but uh, once you've gone through those 17, one of 17 lanes, you get to a, a pathway that takes you to all three concourses without going back out of TSA at all. The vast majority of concessions and 45 vendors will be located beyond the TSA checkpoint, available to passengers as they await their flights. And if you're wondering about traffic patterns and who isn't, arrival and departure traffic actually splits going into the terminal, dividing and minimizing the congestion. The opening, well, is in sight and on schedule. Heath Allen, WDSU News.